Hello everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we have a major over $10,000 coin unboxing from PCGS. It's going to be a bunch of gold plus a potential 1804 large cent, um, and it's going to be super cool to see what we've got here and how these grades turned out. So as always, I'll be going through sort of explaining what my feeling on these coins are. Some of the ones that I sent in um, probably are going to come back cleaned, but there's also a fair amount that uh, won't be cleaned. It was just sort of like I had some vouchers left over that were expiring, um, hadn't really sent much in in a little while, and wanted to get some of this gold graded. So um, after that, uh, we'll see how this turned out, whether it was a good move or not, and I'm excited to see just that. So here we go with the unboxing, and time to cut the tape and open this box up. And immediately, it looks like we got some potentially not great news over here. Um, but this looks like it's going to be the 35th anniversary copper coin. Thank you from PCGS. We got the medal. Um, I wonder what the value on this is. And I'll try to provide values for all the coins that we open up today. Um, but nice. It looks like an eagle. Uh, got PCGS in the slab. So I'm going to keep that on this side but let's see so um we'll start with the bad news first except that the uh the grades are are this way so i'm going to take out this paper let's see um oh and there's the the big coins i'm going to pull from the back because i think okay it says coin inside let's see what we got here mm. authenticity unverifiable counterfeit Oh man, dang. I, let me know, would you have been able to tell that this was, I actually, I guess I did remember seeing like, hey, this this rim looks a little bit sort of raised and unusual, um, you know, to have that sort of rim going around the edge of the coin, um, that, that looks a little off, but I didn't think that it might be a counterfeit. Um, hmm, I think I was actually given this as a Christmas present, so I'll, I'll do a little tracing on the origin of where I got this, but, um, I, I feel like even if it's a deal, if it's a dealer that I've done a lot of business with and it's, you know, a few years old, then, you know, sometimes you don't, you can sort of gloss over it. This is authenticity unverifiable. I think that this looks like an 1804 cent, and since I had a free voucher, I was like, hey, I'm just going to send it in. With this, um, to me, I'll take it out of the the PCGS and zoom in a little bit here. Um, this looks like 1804. I don't know what else that digit could be. Um, so, uh, you know, I was hoping that this would just come back like FR details uh, corroded, counter stamped, but probably should have thought that they wouldn't make it authentic, but maybe this is the type of thing to just throw up on eBay. Um, yeah. And, and just see how the bids come in or, or make it a buy it now, but that's a disappointing start. Actually the counterfeit false dies, uh, bummer. Okay. Well, that being said, we'll start with this coin. It's an 1851 $1 coin. Um, gold dollar, this is, you know, they would do silver dollars and gold dollars. And, you know, a really, really tiny coin compared to um, almost any, you know, here's like a Morgan silver dollar for reference, just massive compared to it. And those would have been trading around the same time, sort of that one to $20.66. Um, now I did see on the back that it was a details coin. And when I look at it, it really makes sense that it would be a details coin because, um, look at that, you know, the, there's sort of a big difference around the stars, um, and, and it does just look sort of glossed over as though it has been cleaned, AU detail. Um, I think it's still, you know, non-details coins are like 300 to $350. Um, I think that this is probably worth like 250 or so. Um, so it's a nice coin, and I think, um, you know, still, still a solid one. I sort of graded some of my gold just because I wanted the assurance that uh, they were real. This one... Uh, no details grade. That's great. Um, you know, looks 
to be there's a little bit of wear, but sometimes there's just strike weakness, 1862, sort of the Civil War era. Um, and either it's going to be really low mint state or uh, like AU5558, probably like 58. Let me just update and see sort of what pricing we're looking at. That's a five, uh, $50 difference. AU55 would be $450. Uh, AU58 would be 500 and going to be 58 awesome so you know not min state but that's a really good uh outcome for me um 500 bucks i think i paid like 200 for this coin a long time ago um so definitely good um happy with how that one turned out um that's a great result so hopefully more of the positive instead of some of the tougher stuff like we've encountered uh but we did say we'd get the bad out of the way to start um, and then right here, we've got a two and a half dollar coin. Um, nice looking coin, you know, also definitely has some wear. Um, probably going to be in the mid AU, I would guess, but I'm really bad at grading gold. Um, so I see this. I'm thinking 55 on this because um, there's a lot of luster, you know, a little bit of wear, a little bit, you know, of uh, where you can see there's definitely been contact marks, but um still pretty coin 1852 a little bit earlier and before i unveil you know in 50 it's going to be 600 dollars, and that's basically the same up through au 55 let's see if there's a bump i don't think this would be 58 that would jump to 650 this is going to be 53 okay price guide says a 10 dollar difference um for me it's just nice to know that it's a, a real coin um and yeah going to be going back to the bank vault as well so that's a pretty good outcome let's see Ooh, genuine, not gradable, though I think I knew that this coin was going to be that way. Um, a $5 coin that I'd had um, purchased it for just like spot value. And yeah, I think I expected that this one was going to come back, but I wanted to get most of my U.S. gold graded. Um, this is going to be AU detail. Um, and that's sort of just the telltale signs there, you know, very sort of flat um, on the surfaces, looks a little sort of just polished up. Um, and doesn't have the original, like the difference, let's see, um, you know, there's like the, uh, mint shine and that might've even had a light cleaning that was market acceptable. Um, but still $5 gold. You know, I think that the prices on us gold are pretty strong. So I bet that that's like a $600 coin, even though it's probably like 400 of gold value. This next one, um, $5, no, um, you know, no problem with the grade let's look at an, an authenticity um which is now something to be afraid of these always present pretty nice this looks like a high au on the back flip it over look at the front that's a nice looking coin to me um you know not totally sure how they'll grade it because i'm not an expert on this but i th would say mid to high au would be my best estimate um and and those look like they're selling sort of in the $800, $900 range, and it's going to be AU58, price guide value 950 Most of the recent sales are a little bit below that, but phenomenal result. Really happy about that one. And I remember when the premiums on these were much lower than what they are uh, today. Um, so, you know, it makes me wonder maybe I should sell and then go back into gold, but I sort of like having, you know, th this was like a, a gold type set basically that I've been putting together and storing in my bank vault. Here is the first gold coin that I ever got. This one I was given, um, which is unlike almost all the other gold here, which I've purchased at different points. Um, but I was given this for a Christmas a long time ago. Um, I'm not going to say who gave it to me, but I always thought, you know, it's a nice original looking coin. Um, I would say AU55, I think would be my best estimate, which would have a value of about $1,300. Um, according to PCGS, and not much difference if you move up or down a grade. That's going to be AU53, um, which is totally fine with me. That seems very fair. Um, and so that's wonderful. Um, not clean, you know, looks nice again and original. Got the PCGS uh, seal on it and, and authenticity guarantee. And yeah, you can really see how that jumps out as being immediately cleaned. A little bit of larger gold on the way. We got four pieces. This one is going to be genuine, not gradable. A little bit of a disappointment. Um, did not anticipate this coming back cleaned. 1847.0 right here. Um, 
and uh, maybe maybe I should have known. I was just thinking that that was w like just a worn piece of gold. Um, you know, in most grades here, um, you know, thousand uh, five hundred is the price guide on a XF forty, which is probably around where I would have pegged this coin. Um, VF detail a little bit lower than I had actually thought, but again, you know, this is a nice old historic piece of gold. Um, it's got that O mint mark early date. Let's see what the mintage is. Any guesses? It's going to be uh, 571,500. So very few on this coin. And then we continue, but also a good value in, in gold. Um, probably a minimum like 900 bucks spot price there. Um, we're going to have this, which is one of the coins I'm most excited for. Um, no, you know, problems coming back. Uh, and it's a $10 gold Indian really nice reverse i'm hoping you know if this comes back 64 it's like a 3500 hundred dollar coin um if it comes back 62 it's 2000 and 63 2500 though again probably in reality values are a little low price guide can be kind of high um i'm hoping for the 64 with this one let me know what you think i think there's a little bit of you know some touch marks there uh i think that hit on the cheek actually might really hold this one back um actually maybe it's less 63 okay but that's significantly better than 62 according to price guide i think in reality it still does have a nice price bump and these are just gorgeous coins so i'm going to store this one away um, and be very happy about the relatively very good condition that it's in um, so these gold indians sort of some of the most beautiful coins i think in history and they've got gold, um, which makes them that much better. So now we're going to take these two. Any details grades? No. That is awesome. All right. So uh, I think we'll do the double eagle uh, St. Gaudens last. And for now, we'll look at this. Uh, I forget exactly what year it is, but I really like I think the back looks great, sort of like a 63-ish, 64. Um, and 1890S. Okay. So if, if it does, there's huge value. If it's 64, it's like a $11,000 coin. 63 is like 5,000. 62 is 37.50 and 61 is 2,500. Um, looking at the front though, I think it's a tougher story. Um, a lot of hits over here and sort of all through the front. I mean, I think that there, but it's not like really deep hits. So I don't exactly know. Um, you know, my gold grading skills are not great, but I'm hoping that this is 62, 63. Sometimes they're forgiving. I'm going to call it 62 um, and be pessimistic here, but really, really like how this looks. 61. Okay. Not what I was hoping for, but again, it's, I'm glad that I got it certified. I think it was a good use of money. Um, and that represents sort of like a hundred dollar premium to, to the uh you know au grades but 62 is really where you start getting some noticeable value like a thousand dollar jump which is pretty big in my opinion so not quite um where i was looking for to really unlock the value on this coin but again you can't be uh you know too picky when it comes to your coins and all of these were bought with pretty low premiums over gold um or that one that was given to me. And then this last one, 1926. Um, you know, I thought that this was a nice coin. And I think I traded it for some gold bullion and like 50 bucks. So um, my cost basis is pretty low in it um, relative to the possible upside. You know, the back looks so nice. And I think, you know, I was going to submit most of my gold anyways. But I think that there's a shot, you know, mid to high uh, mint state here and the front looks really good too um, you know a few hits over there a little bit on the leg but strong strike I'm gonna guess 63 I think you know it's just so beautiful with the rays in the background you know Liberty's dress and the gold you know solid piece of gold you got the edge lettering um, I'm gonna go 63 which would be a price guide of like 2700 recent sales more towards like 2500 um, 64 awesome um, 64 is going to be about 2,900. So $200, I think certainly a much better play than having just held on to the, the gold one ounce. Um, wow, that's great. Well, awesome. I mean, I think we did phenomenal on this coin. Um, very well on the hunt overall. I think 
I was obviously hoping for, you know, not to get a counterfeit uh, two and a half Indian, um, which is not good. And then the authenticity, unverifiable sort of a, uh, maybe fair for a coin like this. I was hoping that they could discern if that was 1804. In fact, um, they could not, and that's okay. Um, but we did really well, I think. Bunch of cool gold coins, um, and they're going to go right to the bank vault where they're going to stay, and I'm not going to um, take them out really ever, um, though you know, it's going to not put me in a good position. I was talking about this like an apocalyptic situation, but I think I'll have bigger things to worry about. So anyways, really fun, probably over 10,000 bucks of value. You know, if you call these 2,500 each, that's 5,000. This maybe is another, you know, 6,500, 7,500, uh, 8,500. And certainly you can come up with, you know, 1,500 of value in these coins. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll bring you any uh, future unboxings that I have. I know that there's a world one coming back soon, like 17 coins, though it may take a while. PCGS has been slow, and I'm going to leave for Dallas soon, so um, maybe I won't have that for a long time, but thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, comment your thoughts, and subscribe to Treasure Town, and get in touch with me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, check out my website, treasuretowncoins.com, for news and updates related to the channel and collectibles in general. Lastly, there's a link tree in the description with links to all of my other sites as well as some affiliate links that can support the channel. But with that being said, have a great day and I'll hope to see you on some of my videos in the future.